Hi friends. It's me. It's really late because I laid down to go to bed and then I was like, oh, wait, I was going to read out of Jesus Calling for YouTube for my friends. And I totally, like, I just timed that crazy and went fast. But I was reminded before I went to sleep, I was like getting ready, put my blankets on and everything. And I was like, I got to get up. So <clears throat> I'm trying to be quiet. I'm trying to be quiet because my family is sleeping. And it's late. I don't know if you can see. So in February, Jesus calling. We're starting a new month. And this says, look to the Lord and his strength. Seek his face always. And that's from Psalm 105, verse 4. Okay, February 1st, follow me one step at a time. That is all I require of you. In fact, that is the only way to move through this space slash time world. You see huge mountains looming and you start wondering how you're going to scale those heights. Meanwhile, because you're not looking, where you're going, you stumble on the easy path where I am leading you now. As I help you get back on your feet, you tell me how worried you are about the cliffs up ahead. But you don't know what will happen today, much less tomorrow. Our path may take an abrupt turn, leading you away from those mountains. There may be an easier way up the mountains than is visible from this distance. If you do, if I do lead you up the cliffs, I will equip you thoroughly for the strenuous climb. I will even give my angels charge over you to preserve you in all your ways. Keep your mind on the present journey, enjoying my presence. Walk by faith, not by sight trusting me to open up the way before you that was really nice psalm and the verses that you can read for extra psalm 18 29 psalm 91 11 through 12 and second corinthians 5 verse 7 so that was beautiful i like that and then there's this other one that my mom said are they by the same they're not not by the same person. This is Sarah Young. This is um, called Prayers to My King. Sherry Rose, Sherry Rose Shepherd. And my mom sent it to me a long time ago, and I have never opened it. So I thought, hey, why don't we read one out of it here? So we'll just start with page one. Here's the table of contents. <clears throat> this says, it looks like my mom read it a little bit because there's a page coming out. But that's really pretty. And this says, You whom I have taken from the ends of the earth and have called from the corners of it and said to you, You are my servant, I have chosen you. Isaiah 41.9 and this says, my king, who, choose, who chose me. And this is like a little prayer. So it says, it's so hard for me to believe that you chose me to represent you to the world. Lord, I feel so inadequate to be called your princess. I want to be what you've called me to be, but I don't know how. I need your help, you to help me let go of who I think I am and become who you say I am. I know that you've given me a free will and that you would never force me to live for you, yet I want to be totally devoted to you. I want to leave a legacy with my life. I want the world to know I'm yours. I'm asking you today to anoint me and show me how to live and act as your princess. I'm choosing to believe that you will equip me to do everything 
you call me to do and keep me strong enough to finish the, my journey of faith. Thank you for embracing me as your daughter and for loving me with your life. Because you first chose me, that's special to me too, that little part right there. I chose to follow you today. I love you and I feel privileged to call you the Lord of my life and my Savior. In Jesus' name, amen. Love your princess who said yes. That's so precious. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. So, there's a little devotion for us today, friends. I would like to say that I could do these regularly. I sure am going to try, but I can't promise anything right now because my days are just so different right now, and that's just the way that it has to be. But some of you have expressed that you really enjoyed these devotions, and I would love, I'm, I'm going to pray that I can do this every day for you. I just, let, hey, I got out of bed and came back into the kitchen so that I could do this for you today because I just, I love you all so much and I appreciate you all so much. So I love you and I hope you have an awesome day tomorrow and get some rest. Okay, bye.